So, these are the facts that i always been trying to tell y'all. Black people talk about killing one another, approved for the airways. Black people talk about aborting their offspring, approved for the airways. Black people are associated with yay, not approved. We are saying nothing and are being attacked and threatened. Whatever we do, they going to have something to say about it. One thing about it, when everything was segregated, we really was fucking winning. This integration shit is the main reason why we fucking losing. Because niggas always want to be like white people. Always want to live like white people. When in reality, the motherfuckers just basically started living how we was living and made us believe that we weren't never living like that in the first place. But y'all niggas are so fucking stupid. And this ain't nothing that y'all don't know already, but like, let me give y'all an example. Let's say, let's say a girl or a dude, anybody, anytime somebody get on their Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and they on some negative shit, some hot shit, some uh crash out type of shit, right? It's always getting glorified. The most attention gonna come to that. You gonna have more views on a video of a nigga that just got shot in the head or a motherfucking anybody that just got shot or some crazy shit that happened more than you'll get views at a of a wedding. Let's say somebody getting married, some happy shit, or a child being born. You know what I'm saying? And then half of the feedback you get from that shit gonna be fake. Cause it's gonna be some bitter motherfucker in the mix of all this happiness. It's gonna be one bitter motherfucker that's in their mind just hating the situation cause they don't got it. You know what I'm saying? This shit crazy out here, bro. Shit lame as hell. Lame. For real, for real. And I know this shit off topic and besides the point, but I woke up this morning and I was thinking to myself, like, how can I fucking be a service to the people? And honestly, I just want to help. You know what I'm saying? And when I say I want to help, I want to help moms, dads, grandmas, granddaddies. If you need some fucking help, holla at your boy. You know what I'm saying? I ain't here to financially help nobody. I'm here to help with time, attention, and love. You feel me? Genuine fucking love. You dig what I'm saying? To these kids that's getting raised with just one parent or, you know, co-parents and shit like that, come holla at your boy. My mom and daddy went together either, dog. But you know what? They still got a little relationship in the sense of they know how to talk to each other. They know how to act towards each other. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no hate between them. You feel me? So that was my plus in that situation. But you know what I'm saying? Coming from a nigga that had just one parent at a time, it, it, ain't, it ain't hard, y'all. It ain't hard. Also, I'm going to show y'all that it's cool to do shit that helps the world, like being a fucking electrician. I'm about to learn how to be an electrician real soon. I'm already, I already know how to paint and fucking do, you know, handyman work. I'm damn near a carpenter, for real, for real. Like, dead ass, dead ass a carpenter. So, for you ladies, women that need some paint done to your house, or, you know, need some yard work done, but just can't afford it, you know what I'm saying? But you know how to cook, you know how to cook a good meal? Holla at your boy. I come over there and do the man shit for you for a day or two. As long as you feed me. I'm cool. You ain't got to pay me. Just feed me and uh, show me some respect. And I, you know, I handle that. I don't want your ass. I don't want your titties. I don't want your pussy. I don't want none of that. I just want respect. You feel me? That's it. I already got a woman. I, got, I get all that from her. Just